Oh. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, and welcome to session N plus one of our D and D Sunrise Star. Um, does anyone know where Leon may or may not be? On the way, most probably. So it might be a little He's bit. Probably so. A big pardon? He might be setting up. No, okay. Well, we shall continue on the assumption and the hope that he turns up. Otherwise, yes. We're going to have a tiny little bit of a time jump from last session. Actually, first of all, because I, I, I'm getting ahead of myself, introduce yourselves. Why don't you? Hello, I'm... God, am I first? I can't remember. It's been yes, so long. you are. Oh. Ah, shit. Uh, hello, I'm Maud. Nice to meet you all once again. Um, not currently on speak because of uh, technical difficulties and makeup. Uh, <laughs> anyway... <laughs> the important things. It's my birthday, I'm a bastard, and that's all we know. Happy oh, happy birthday, birthday. to I've you! I've several times, fuck you all. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't hate you so much to start singing, but happy birthday nevertheless. Thank you. So congratulations, this is the one session you are least likely to die. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You think, oh, bless. Bullshit. Pull, pull punches just because it's someone's special day. Oh, no, no, no. It's not because it's their birthday. It's because I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> ah, yes. Hi, I'm Don. I will be restraining the Dungeon Master oh. today. And I will be playing Grace. And Grace is a summoner, Gripley. Um, with a lovely friend named Zaza, and I will be trying my very bestest to make a suit that I can hide equipment in a different plane. And that leaves you, Kara. Yes, hello, I am Chara. I am playing Kiva Ophel, and I am really tired at the moment. I am a baby gnome, gnome who is supposed to be in jail. Well, a baby is a is a stretch. She's fifty five years old, but yeah. And I am baby the one. Constant. Yeah, I am the one who has the biggest technical difficulties today because Discord decided to shit the bed on me, so I cannot hear anyone in a voice call. That's why we are on Skype today, and that's why there are no cameras. I'm sorry, everyone. Discord shit the bed on everyone. I'm sorry. No worries, it's fine. I'm breaking quarantine like a moron, so I don't have access to all of my visual resources for all twenty anyway. It's, it's a, it's a fuck up all round that has worked out into being no one's fault. That's how it works. Pat ourselves on the back, we get away with it. Amazing. That's what, that's how I like it. Don't glare at me. <laughs> um. So yeah, this session we're it's going to be a little bit of a time skip. Last session, you witnessed the uh, your your assistant to something went boom. Yeah, yes. you witnessed your help with uh, regards. To... Mm -hmm. Certain problem. A, cer a certain problem getting Sahagin in. A, mi a migration issue. A mig an immigration issue, and Glimsford was so happy with the, the, all the work that you did that uh... he spontaneously combusted. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and everything was destroyed except for a very nice table. And our stuff. Our stuff was also saved. Yes. They invaded our privacy and looted our rooms. Bastards. <laughs> it's, it's... It'd be worse. So, in a sense, the, re the, blah, 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 the revolution started. Oh, and yeah. set this away from what my original idea was going to be for a, a sort of a subtle cold war between wizards and psionics into something a lot more uh, distantly entertaining. So, yes. 
You are currently all in a cart heading off back to Sidereal. That's the name of the place. So difficult when I don't when I'm not on the damn map. Uh, my lighting will never be good again. Oh. Yeah, you are heading back to Sidereal, the lowest uh, uh, part of Celestine. Might be good to the map on then. <laughs> and so, yeah, you're heading home. It is a long. It is a slow. No, I know I didn't swap players. <laughs> they, 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 I don't have to remember all these. All these, you do. I don't. I got players over. Okay. So you're part of those places, and as you do, I'm going to be springing random little. Uh, Questions on you. For instance, Kara. Yes. Where were you on the morning that the uh, the tavern you were staying at exploded? Well, in the morning, obviously I was in my bed. What do you What do you think? Where was I? Like, come on. Really. And when you stayed there until the explosion, when you were miraculously unharmed? Of course not. We went sightseeing with these, well, these people that I came here with. It's safe to call them acquaintances. Yes. Acquaintances. So you, uh, you all went sightseeing. Terribly convenient, don't you think? Not at all. Like, what do you expect us to do? Just stay in our fucking, uh, like, Stay in a room 24-7? Like, it's outrageous. It would have been for the common betterment of the society, I'm sure. So, you were all in a cart, passing the three lakes. Distantly to your left, you can see woolen wood. Mm -hmm. With its ever so slight sparkle in the distance. And to the right, Myland Forest. It's very droll. Very, very droll. I am allowing an opportunity for roleplay should the fancy take you. Pretty forest. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say, Mickey? It's a pretty forest. <laughs> uh, it, it's full of those, those very... Happy fair, when you know the, the types that kidnap the children. That get yelled at by uh, kind heads of church offices? Uh, You're still in trouble, Lil Missy. Uh. <laughs> oh, yes, you, you severely. You're still. Uh, like, you have got no friends among the church anymore. Yeah, so how did you deal with your lycanthropy? What lycanthropy? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, whatever you got, it scared the heebie-jeebies out of the church lady. It's just stuff that I do with my magic. Can I roll something to figure out what the fuck really was that? <laughs> yeah, go for it. It's not like I'm lying. My friend. It's just... Uh, could you roll for me then, uh, Knowledge Arcane? Yes, as soon as this, like, loads up. Like, it's not that I don't trust my friend, but also... It's going to be that. it's gonna be Knowledge Arcane difficulty about 22. This is niche, niche magic. Niche magic. Okay. That, that is much better than a Charisma 25. No, I'll take it. it. Oh god, I won't take it. Fuck. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. 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 <laughs> nah. No. It's like you've got some idea that there's magic behind it, especially since you've seen um, Kiva? Kiva. Kiva. 
you've seen Kiva perform magic before, but you've got no idea what sort of niche spellcasting school this might be. What the fuck tittery that was. Yeah, at th th this point, Kiva just, like, uh, smacks Mickey on the head. I'm a transmuter! I'm transmute shit! Smack again. I transmute myself as well! Smack again. Yeah. Why would you transmute shit? <laughs> to sell How? to the locals, obviously. To, yeah, exactly, to How sell it for, to the locals. See my head. If it I glitters, they buy it. <laughs> How is this person touching to my head? I don't That's understand. Bad. <laughs> with, with her staff. That's how. Hard getting a bit. Okay. And I'm gonna summon Zaza for a ride back. <laughs> Did you right away grab your goat? He's not a goat. Regulus is a ram. And of course I did. Still, did he turn into lamb chops with the explosion? No, I was riding him to the wheat. What do you expect? I would never leave Regulus there. In anyone else's hands. They might try and eat him. Exactly. Or worse, you can never trust halflings around wildlife. Oh god. Oh no. <sighs> so... Very shortly you start hearing the... distant bickering of two, uh, two guardsmen. These people again. As you approach the toll, well met, friends. How are you then? It's been a while since you've been down here. Oh, hello there. Um, I mean, halt, traveler. I, um, I think I'm gonna be needing to see some uh, gold for your passage here. Of course, of course. Put some. Uh... Puts it on his hand and uh, says, "And what was your name again?" I, well, alas, my name is lost in the book of notes that has been left uh, in a different abode. I think it was Trout, though. Trout? I think I was. You like the name Trout? Trout. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Trout. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Just two nice, uh, two nice tall guards in front of me. Name's Mickey, by the way. Oh, Alright, I'm go. Mickey. And uh, and you? And he turns to the other, the, the, the other, the others, like hand out expecting gold. None of you. I will Sorry. shake his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Nice Darling, he wants gold. <laughs> he's 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 seeking money. Have we None been paid for our last job? <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you? <laughs> She's hot <laughs> oh, damn. Her is to social reform. Exactly. <laughs> um. I believe you were paid. Like, not much, but you had a little bit of money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a little bit of money. We got some coinage. What? Coinage? get rid of that. <laughs> That's not right. The hell is happening that I am unaware of? I've just had to look at Grace's character sheet, and she has 2,000 gold in bonds, I think. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh god. I was rage for two seconds. <laughs> she Excuse actually had an in distant property. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. How much gold is toll? One. One gold coin to pass. It's one gold. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give me two seconds. I have to pop out my character sheet again. <laughs> Alright. So you're uh you're down in the town then I take it. No, I'm doing Scottish. <clears throat> so I suppose you're done in you ah, <laughs> You're done in the town, then I get to take it. Yeah. Oh, Feel free to visit um, the smithy there sometime. It's headed by me. 
Like, I, I grumble a little bit and just throw them one gold coin. Don't even it's, talk to them. Like, eh. with, uh, with alarming alacrity, it is caught in a little wooden box. Of course, it's gold after all. <laughs> um. So I've seen many people passing by these days. Oh, not many, I have to say. Oh, I've been. Uh, I. There was one moment when I tried to uh, ask for the Baron for a gold coin to pass, and he seemed more amused than anything. Did I believe he pay you? Us about that. He did not pay me. No. How disrespectful! You're just trying to That's do your job, awful. aren't you? Yeah, but I just have to give it back to him, minus 10% for <laughs> dry hush. Yeah, but that is still, what, 10 silver? A silver? No, a silver. That's still a silver. Yeah, but to be fair, he's the one that actually pays me. <laughs> ah. Look, say what you want about our social structure. I'm not supposed to try and back chat and sass the lords. Now you should try sometimes. It's it's Smart very man. it's very satisfying. If you ever do find a reason to, do it. Yes, do it. Well, please, if you don't mind, I would like to get home. I have a project to work on. <laughs> First of all, could Mickey roll diplomacy just to see if the guard sasses the Baron when next time he passes? Hell yeah! This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> No! Continue writing. I don't have time for diplomacy nonsense. Yeah, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I quite like having my tongue inside my mouth. Oh. You're mm. less, I, I guess. Agree. <laughs> I would also say learn how to run if you do. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> just yeah, off. Race is sailing off into the distance on the back of Zaza. <laughs> <laughs> we run after the, the moving Zaza. Yeah, like, just like. Go, Regulus, go! Go, Regulus. <laughs> Mickey. Why hmm? would you want to blow up the tavern and all the surrounding buildings? I have no reason to. I, I really just wouldn't. Also, where the fuck do you get explosives from in this day and age? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't I make you weapons like to for know? the Baron. I make weapons for the Baron. Why would I want to destroy anything in his town? That seems rather stupid. <laughs> Maybe if you're if we have some buildings that need building, suddenly we need more nails. We need more hammers. I don't work in construction. I work in weaponry. Also, are you really going to outsource hammers to Sidereal Cross? Mighty inefficient, good sir. Well, we're not the ones who, who, who blew up a tavern for it now, are we? No, we are not. <laughs> well, That's then. That's the point. Good day. Good day to you, too. The road is long and the sun is uh, beginning to wane. The almost steppe lands to the west of you, rolling off toward the sea, are incredibly monotonous. Mm. Now and then you see little towers of smoke set up by the roving tribes of orcs. Ah, uh, yes, the big I boys. Have a question. Can I have a conversation with Zaza? Can they talk back, even if it is like via message or something? Yes, but I don't think they can offer you any anything like stimulating. Like it's more like having a conversation with yourself. Mm. Well. I'm not that crazy yet. No. Um, unless Zaza has higher knowledges than you in anything. Possibly, I don't know. <laughs> it's very possible. Hey. Uh, I mean, you no. get shitty knowledge skills, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. No, Zaza is a practical beast. Uh, 
Yeah, Zaza can hold an intelligent conversation, but like it would be like talking to yourself. It's more. It would be more capable for you to have a conversation. You could have a conversation with Mickey, and then Kiva could have a conversation with Zaza, and it'd be like talking to the same person. <laughs> Yeah, just makes sense. Pretty much. Huh. Okay. So, were other of you interrogated as well? Both. They asked all of us stupid questions. Didn't feel special. No, I'm just saying. The um, the interrogators seem quite dull, in. Not the brightest. Yeah, his head is empty. I think he just wants to, like, you know, make us out to be the bad guys, just so they can close this fucking case already. He utterly failed. Yeah. And here's hoping indeed. that if there's like a guard in the room that I didn't notice, they'll like tell the truth because I may have made him a little um. A little pissed by answering correctly so many times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is the truth. We did not know what was gonna happen. It's a different thing that we are happy about the result. As the sun is nearly set, you can see in the distance the one street lamp of Cloverleaf being lit. Uh, this place again. This fucking place again. <laughs> I think this is this is uh, this is my setting in a nutshell. Ah, oh, this fucking place again. Ah, oh, this fucking place again. <laughs> I can't wait to get home. <laughs> huh? Same here. Ah, so you get for living two days away from home. Yeah. We yeah. never live two days away from home. We work two days away from home. Damn, the commute is a bitch. That is. <laughs> Get back to the dear little cross, lay her down on the pillow, and the alarm goes off to work the next day. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's traveling time. Just give me a little while longer, and Zazar can fly me back and forth. It will be so much faster. And. You can see the uh, the familiar swinging tavern sign of the pensive ass. The the donkey left in deep thought. Mm -hmm. um, but outside and out, out the front, obscuring the road, is an incredibly large and long banquet table. Right, the actual house. Is there any like uh, harvest or any seasonal like holiday? Is on us. There's no holiday that any of you are familiar with, and God knows the halflings would not have uh, shut up about it if there was. Okay, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that there's not some very local, like, celebration. Mm. Is there anyone walking about? There's a few people, like, I feel those people with a little bit of the uh, the cloverleaf look about them. Okay. They're, they're shuffling back and forth with cutlery and plates and massive pumpkins. Mickey's gonna do some light interviewing to whoever looks not the busiest. Ah, hello. Good evening. Um, I don't mean to be a bother, but could you tell me what's going on today? We're having a thanks... Uh, 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 not Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is an actual thing in America, for fuck's sake. You're not getting yeah. thanks. It's like no. Harvest Festival? Like yes. It, we are offering our... servitude to those who have not yet killed us. Ah, Praise so to me. Oh. Praise be to the invisibles that guide our every like, every waking moment. Huh. Yes. Praise be. For we have not yet died this year, and we may yet see next. 
that we may. Oh no, the pub. Hmm? All in all, a little bit macabre. Yeah. Nice religion. <laughs> cool beats. Are uh, our visitors allowed to um, partake? Oh, we, we encourage it, yes, yes. Yes, please do. Come, uh, let's partake of our goods. Yeah, Maybe give share us some of your own. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Give, give Rick us a second. is giving me a I'm very gonna, skeptical look. I'm gonna drag everyone over to like the the stables that uh, we let the tour guys sleep in on the first day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't trust these motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, they are halfling, of course. I don't think we should trust any of these. Like, pardon my sunrise. <laughs> this shit cult as fuck. I'm not eating that food. Why don't we just continue home? Because that's another day's travel and we're tired. <laughs> mm, that is tired I can sleep well. on Zaza. I'm, I believe we all still have our rations, correct? Yes. Great. We can just afford another night in the inn. I don't think it's best to be outside tonight. So you're going to head into the tavern? Yes. The inn, even. This is not tavern tavern. This is not tavern country. This is inn country. This is inn country. This is pensive country. Mm, Where no one's actually thinking. So you walk in, there's the same gruff uh, innkeeper giving you all the stink eyes. You enter. Mmm. Good evening. Uh... Don't mind them. We're back, and we would like another night. Mm. Three gold for the lot of you. Three silver, was it? Let's just let it rethink that, wouldn't you? And I will try to intimidate. I'm doing my business. No, 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 no. Roll intimidate. Can can I overshadow their intimidate with diplomacy? <laughs> Kara. How? How? Kara, why do you keep trying to intimidate? Why because I have a plus five in it. That's nothing, darling. It's, it's a nice it's nice you've got a plus five, but you've never rolled to intimidate well. <laughs> that doesn't mean I cannot this time. It just you didn't. <laughs> you did the yes, opposite of doing it correctly. Yep, yep. For podcast listeners, that's a one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, technically, it's a six. But... It's a one. You know, it's a one. Deep in so, your soul. Mickey, you were, you were going to talk over your excitable chihuahua. Yes, uh, I believe it was. Was three gold the three silver the standard rate? Standard, but we've had to uh, put prices up. Oh, prices up to a baroness wage. Something maybe up to about. as far as one gold. Maybe up to as far as one gold. Well, do you know who I was just working for before I came here? Shock me. The Baron. Real bluff. That's not a bluff. That's the truth. <laughs> you were working for the mayor. I was yep. working for the mayor. Whoa, real bluff. Real bluff it is. <laughs> 25. Yeah, fuck, all right. All right, seven silver the lot here. Not going, a, not going a copper lower. Perfect. Thanks for the night. Bloody cheapskates. You Next you'll it. be wanting bloody food, won't you? Mm. Well, that would be not nice, food. yes. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for offering. They are right out of my children's mouth. 
He starts shouting to various, uh, the various more conservatively dressed barmaids. And they start, like, organising what they can that was going out to the feast outside. Mm -hmm. I'll give him... I'm not going to eat, but I'll give him three silver as a tip as well. So you're going to give him a gold? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay. Mickey's notion is this, is that, hey, you let me do shit, I'll pay you. <laughs> you don't let me do shit, fuck you. <laughs> Here's hoping that message gets across. Ah. He starts, starts chewing on some dried sea kelp. Um. Yes. Who wants to eat before they go to bed, then? I want to eat, but not from the banquet table. Yeah, we'll be eating our rations that we picked up last time. Yeah. Yep, rations it is. Okay, rations it is. Is anyone by any chance, you know, there's this whole celebration thing going on outside... I'll be looking at it, sure. From the window. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I was wondering. So you're gonna, you're all gonna put, nip upstairs, eat some of your, you know, jerky bread and hard cheese. Um, and overlook the feast. So the the vespers festivities seem to be going well. And then there's a lot of magic happening. Ooh. Can I oh. detect magic? What's the range on your detect magic? Let me see. Uh, it's 60. 60. Oh, yes, easily. You can you can detect magic yeah. down to the table. It's just outside. So. First of all, the, the, the first thing that catches everyone's eye is that when they cut into one of the pine, one of the pineapples, one of the pumpkins, mm -hmm. um, it seems to be full of soup. Okay. This is, mm. it, is, is this transmutation? It's not transmutation. Oh. Interesting. It's conjuration. Conjuration, okay. Ah, lot of magic can oh. work. So it, it, it's 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 spilling into me. It's making a very very thick, uh, like oxo oxy tomato soup, like meaty tomato soup type thing. As far mm. as you can tell. Um, and yet once it touches people's plates, it suddenly turns into cakes or breads or uh, steaks. Can I? Okay. Arcana or like history or something to know why this town does this or what is happening. No, this is one of those weird little uh, Innsmouthy type things. Uh -huh. This is this is it's also one of the like central like intrigues. So no. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. A lot of conjuration magic. That's what I can tell. Yeah, you can tell there's a couple of minor wonders going on happening down there. A couple of uh, minor yeah. artifacts. Maybe this yeah, is something from their just... invisible ones? Hmm? Maybe this is something from their invisible ones. Maybe. Do you know the ones that keep them from dying a horrible, miserable death? Yes, gen gen the generous uh, invisible ones. <laughs> what kind of artifacts are we talking about? So, those of you detecting magic... Yep. Could you roll me Spellcraft? Spellcraft... Uh, I can see Spellcraft. Can, can I roll Spellcraft? <laughs> 21! Nice. So, 21 from Kara, and... Spellcraft. And a 15. Okay, so. All Grace can figure out is that there's some strange conjuration magic bound to cutlery. And some of the crockery. Kara. Mm -hmm. 
you can identify that it doesn't seem to be organized. It's like this one candelabra, this fork that's being used by this person down here in no particular, with no particular prestige. Hmm. It's like they're not entirely aware what they've got. Ah. Some of, some of their cutlery, some of their cooking equipment is enchanted and it doesn't seem the locals are aware of that. The locals hmm. don't know what they got. Because so it's like a surprise. I don't think your stealth is particularly good. <laughs> Can I roll something to see if it's had any effect on the villagers that are eating? From this distance, it's not easy to uh, make out. Okay. So, is, is most of the townsfolk outside? Right? Yeah, most of them are outside. Um, yeah, I will give you this. You know for a fact that one of the ladles is uh, enchanted with Unseen Servant. Unseen Servant, okay. Okay, like, they have Unseen Servant enchanted in there, so... Doing that to, uh, give, to, like, give everyone their portions. Yeah, that's, that's the ladle that, like, dishes out their food. Uh, question? Uh yeah. I can be fairly sneaky. If you point out which items you want, I can, might be able to let them disappear. Mm, okay. Um, but, but, but can I can I see like a cauldron or or something that actually conjures the food from here? I tell. Leaves. Um... No. These are their religious artifacts. I don't think it. Never mind. Do what you want. Yeah, to do. they, they don't realize what they are doing. Like it's it's not even every one of those things. It's just every couple. Yeah, I, I... go for the ladle. Like uh, Kiva is gonna point out the ladle with uh, unseen servant. That doesn't mean it's not No, that's correct. That's great. Okay. So I have a message. You think so? We can message back and forth, and you can. I have messages as well, don't worry. So we can, you can direct me to the right things. Okay. And I will sneak down. Well, I will go down, right? Sneak once I'm down. There's no point in sneaking down. Yeah, that shit just looks suspicious. <laughs> uh, are the windows openable? Yeah. Okay, can I open the window, see if I can hear from up here? You can, yes. It's, uh, like, the windows are more shuttered than, like, <laughs> this isn't, they, they don't have glass. What are you talking about? Oh. Imagine glass and windows. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, what's it's that? wooden shutters, and uh, you open it up and, like, brush away some of the webs. And yes, Grace is going to. Okay, yes, like just turn that way a little bit. See, see that ladle up there? Yeah, that's the one. Like, Grace just sort of like her hands like goes, Ooh, I might have this little rice dumpling. Or I might have one of these uh, cinnamon rolls. And at some point between going from the rice dumpling to the cinnamon roll, the ladle just vanishes. It's about as long as my arm. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, that's sleight of, that's sleight of hand. And you do not have good sleight of hand. You said uh, I can do stealth. Yeah, you can do stealth. You'll do, like, no one's noticing you down there as you take the ladle, but you, mm. they've... Okay. I'll risk it. You're gonna risk it? You clearly want to do so, yes. Risk it for the big skin. Ooh. <laughs> so do you, do you get me somewhere roll? between <laughs> somewhere between the rice dumpling and the cinnamon roll, the ladle vanishes. Ah, it's a nice, good job. Any other fan items? So, do, do I see any of the other enchanted like cutlery or shit nearby, Grace? 
you mentioned the candelabra? Yeah, it was a candelabra of, like, eternal light. Are you about to steal a whole ass candelabra right off the table in front of their faces? I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, the candelabra is one of them. Do you, want to, do you want to try and roll another one to see if you get a 19? Yeah, no, nope, just throw them all. Candelabra, to be honest. Yeah, I don't but think you would be able to hide it. It's taller than I am. <laughs> just a walking candelabra going back into the building. What the fuck? What about some of the cutlery that you mentioned? Yeah, there's some cutlery, knives and forks and things. That are magic? Yeah. Yeah, like, see see those, see that set of cutlery that that guy is using? Now that, that is magic. I'm like gonna wait until he puts his knife down and then grab the knife. <laughs> and like, did that for all the cutlery? Okay, that'll be difficulty 15 side of hand. Amazing. Nice. <laughs> oh, I've lost me knife. Where's me knife gone? Don't worry, Henry. I've got one here for you. <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. That's Was horrible. it the entire set you needed, Kiva? Yes, it's the entire set, I think. Is it the entire set? Well, no, it's all over the place. There's like three spoons and a fork. Yeah, there's there's like a there's like three spoons, but they are all scattered on the other side of the table. I will point them out for you. It would be a shame if all this was like cursed or something, and that was the plot point he was talking about earlier. Well, Kiva has the tech magic on, so have I. They are conjurers. Cursed kind of appear, unless they're specifically hidden. Yeah. Right. Hmm. No one can tell, but I'm just smiling at Blower right now. You know, my <laughs> social clues are not that amazing. Mm. We have yeah. podcast listeners, please speak. Oh yeah, we have need word. Oh, yeah, it, uh, hi. <laughs> it would be, um... It would be picked up, most curses are picked up on the tech magic, yes. Okay. Some aren't. And they tend to be the more powerful ones. Yeah, because I was like thinking maybe it's just like locally bound so the locals can use them, but we can't. Aren't we technically locals? This is just the inn. This isn't really a big town, is it? This is Cloverleaf. We're from Sidereal. Well, we live in Sidereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just the... Uh, just, uh, yeah. well, like, just No, you're, you're there. Yeah. I know. You're just there. Or in Cloverleaf. No, if I steal it, Kira can identify it. Mm -hmm. Kiva can identify okay. it. Probably, yes. So, are you going to try and steal the rest of the cutlery? That's also 15. Also 15. You're just hoping I fail, aren't you? I'm, no, I'm actually not. I've not got plans for if you fail. <laughs> Yeah, see, see that, see the spinder attack. That's one of them. No, they clearly want me to try. Yeah. Okay. So I'm holding a spoon and I get noticed. Okay. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with my spoon? <clears throat> it just looks so pretty. Is it like ornate? Is it special? It's a yeah. spoon. Oh! Oh, there's mom things. pretty these days, do they? Yeah, I suppose no. And I'm a spoon back now, yeah. I was drinking with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> they're just slipping up a cake. Sleep? Ooh, could you roll me perception, please? Yeah. No. Grace, roll me perception. There's something that smells very off. You can't put your finger on what. I'm gonna summon Zazar, they have better perception than I do. 
So I was going to like stretch and come out of the side. <laughs> yeah, I can call them to me, can I? Yeah, you can. So I was like, going to stretch, leave the sables, come around to the front. Oof. Good God, that's our horses. Powerful. Powerful smell. It's a powerful <laughs> creature. <clears throat> uh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Zaza is going to detect that everything's got a very meaty smell. Meat or meat? Meat. Ah. Oh. There's the metallic tang of blood to everything. Ah. Mm. Uh, Cannibals. Uh, yeah. She says our sleight of hand. <laughs> what says our sleight of hand? Twenty three thousand. I'm not imagining very high. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zaza, the huge half dragon, half horse creature, fairy thing, fairy thing, has an eight in stealth and a seven in sleight of hand. I think Zaza is going to help me steal stuff now. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes, they yeah. are. All right, with your with you being an assistant, that's a plus two to it. Okay, so nine for so with thirteen for the seven upside of hand. <laughs> well, that's holy that's shit. Nice. Yeah, they're so taken with the fairy wings of Zaza. They're very tiny, they're not big enough to fly yet. No, but they are very pretty, and everyone's what? looking at that so much they don't pay any attention to Zaza's tail as it starts just <laughs> swiping cutlery. Shit off the table. Occasional pork pie. <laughs> magical pork <laughs> pie. No, not magical, just pork pie. <laughs> they're hungry? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, it's not like you can protest to it. You don't know it. Zaza's <laughs> it taking a pork pie either. That's a damn good roll. <laughs> I, I wouldn't protest to them taking a snack. And yeah, you've got all your shit off the maybe cannibals. And we're going to our room. Okay. <laughs> and Zaza trots back happily to the stables to nibble on a pork pie. And I take all the magical stuff up to our room. Eva! Yes. Great. Good <laughs> job. That was everything you indicated, right? Yes, I think so. Except the candelabra. Except the candelabra, obviously. <laughs> that would have been too hard, even with another yeah. twenty. <laughs> it's worth noting the candelabra had like it had ever flame like keyed into it, but they still just stuck candles into it. Of course. Mm. Yes, steal this open fire. I dare you. So, would you like to so do what me the fuck some? Are these? <laughs> it's gonna require some identification spells or a long-term like craft and abilities roll. Long-term what roll? Like a praise or craft or some specific okay. thing. Because I don't think, yeah. I don't have identification as a spell just yet, so... I have a pretty high craft. I believe it's a level 1 spell. Okay. I can... yeah, spellcraft? Does that work? Uh, it's gonna take... like, you're basically gonna have to get these things under a magnifying glass with your spell book. Okay. For maybe a day or three. Would, would knowledge arcana work? 
Yeah, knowledge of arcana, spellcraft, all these things will work. Yeah. Okay. There, there are multiple ways of identifying things, but the spell identifies the easiest one. Gonna go with knowledge arcana. Yeah, you can't do it. it. Like it will, it is going to be several days of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can get started. Um. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yes, you can. Good shit. My bad. Yeah, you've, uh, you, so these are all incredibly minor um, enchanted things. What they do, as far as you can tell, is they change... Basically, you, you sit down with one of these forks at a table, mm -hmm. and anything that anyone at the table is eating will become edible and uh, transform into something delicious, so to speak. Without changing what they're actually eating, like if you, if you gave them a bottle of cyanide, mm, it, could fall, it, it could turn into a pizza, but it would still kill them. Yeah, I relay that to the party. Um, if it was rocks, they'd be able to eat it, but they wouldn't be able to digest it. They could eat the magical candelabra. Yes, if that's probably. Exactly. Um, and yes, and Ladle is a, a, a serving assistant. Mm -hmm. It's a, an unseen servant permanently enchanted onto it to uh, dish out food. Very basic, very simple, uh, you know, life improvements, quality of life improvements. Nothing significant. Huh. These were their religious artifacts. <laughs> I don't think they are religious artifacts. They are just oh, they are what they are. Bubbles. Well, as I see it, that was a religious celebration down there. These were probably for some rite they do. Oh, now, I why guess. that rite smells absolutely. Horrid, and I'm glad I stayed up here. I have no clue. Can I just um, point out that everything had like the metallic smell of blood to it, and I mean everything they were eating. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they were cannibals. Is there any magical thing that does something for cannibals in this list? Oh. That would make so much sense, because they make everything taste edible and delicious. What about their fellow person? Exactly. Aren't we glad we didn't join them for dinner? Which they said was highly encouraged to do. <laughs> highly encouraged. Highly encouraged. Highly encouraged. I don't like this town anymore. <laughs> Wait, there's no anymore. I, I never liked it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was about to ask if you liked it to begin with. These people no, no, are no, all no, horrible. No. Yeah. Candles. Candles. So. Outside, there's going to be some cries of alarm. Ah. Ah. Uh. The jig is up. <laughs> That's the occasional uh, <coughs> pot roast turns back into a foot. <laughs> ah, yes. Foot! Ah, ah foot. Yes. No, it's turning back into the, the bowls of uh, bright red soup. Ah, blood water. Me. Amazing. Who wants a nice cup of water? <laughs> water. <laughs> I try, I try. No, I like that one, that's good. You can keep that one. Yeah. 
I'll take it to the bank. So, cries right, then. <clears throat> calm down, everyone. Calm down. Sure, that the, whatever strange trickery is afoot will be uh, resolved in time. Who's got detect magic up? Uh, me. I I think I have detect magic up. I was like continuously casted because it's I a scam trip. Yes. Yeah. So somebody like, trying to cast locate object. Well, you can all you can detect a detect magic occurring. <laughs> And sweeping around the town. The town? Yes. Because it's in the cones. It's just shh. Trying to detect magic. I'm going to summon us. I'll give them all the stuff and tell them to start walking. <laughs> okay. Preferably 60 feet away from this location at all times. Gives all the Do stuff to Zaza. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to go to planets. Okay, okay. I'm trying to stay out of detect magic. Okay. Making it seem as if somebody stole the stuff and ran away with it. Ah. So you're going to have Zaza run as far away as possible. Yeah, and then like circle back after a few hours or something. <laughs> okay, how far away can... Your eye can travel. Did I just hear windows fapping? Yes, yeah. it's it's our uh, blinds. Ah. Neat. No, not the spiritualist. Summoner. Now we'll find it. Yeah, that'll work. Um, is anyone else doing anything while this uh, this detect? While you're detecting detect magic? Well, I guess I will just stay put. I am not doing anything. It's only detect magic going on here. Well, and detect magic actually. Yes. Well, it this ain't none of my business. You get the the magical equipment out. And trotting off down the road. But then there's a polite knock at the door. Mm -hmm. Hello? It's the remarkably uh, busty and well dressed barmaid. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Is there. Hello. We don't need to change rooms, do we? We just get settled in. No, 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 that's all fine. I just happen to notice that there's some spell crafting going on up here. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been, like, uh, Kiva picks out the the knuckles that she took off the, like, zombie hand. I was just checking if there's any anything magical with these, and she she puts the the zombie knuckles into her face, like, with, in her palm. <laughs> okay. You're a weird woman, Kara. I mean, yeah. Who's Kara? I mean, Kiva. Of course. She <laughs> drinks. Give her some credit. She didn't know her, she didn't know her name. Uh -huh. And so, none of you have left the, the room? I went down for a bit to go have a look at the party going on. They did say we could visit. Yes, yes. Highly encouraged. Mm hmm. I heard so. Um, but it seemed so cozy that I felt a little awkward and came back. And oh, you see her... I did not lie. No, you didn't lie. You see her hands do a little funny thing. And with both of your things up, you can tell that she's just cast a silent detect magic. Hmm. That's fine. We don't have any magical items, do we? Okay, so can, can you tell if these are magical? Because I, I didn't really get any results. And she just puts the knuckles closer to her. She, her eyes, like, glance around the room and goes, I wouldn't, I couldn't possibly tell. Um, enjoy your evening. And she does a little curtsy and then walks out. Same! You too! 
Lots of weird women. Do they really have some resourceful barmaids around here? Not just resourceful, magical as well. And that busty. Be quite clever, because nobody expects it from the barmaid. Very clever. Yes. I expect it from the barmaid. Yes, you have done trickery as a barmaid. I know. I worked as a barmaid. We are not slutty. I used to be a slutty. Well, not slutty. As well-bodied. You both are weird. No. I'm just a good worker. I suggest we take turns keeping watch, because she's not going to let that go. Yes. Um, who wants to take first watch? I'll take first watch. Okay. So, over the course of the night, no one's going to interrupt you. Far too polite for that. But um, there will be the occasional further sweep of a detect magic. As I is staying out of town, I will meet them out of town. As well as some more powerful divination magics. Hmm. Interesting. Like scrying, you mean? Yes. Can you scry on an item? You're supposed to scry on a person or a location, aren't you? No, you can scry on whatever you want. Isn't it a yeah. locate object or scry on a location or a person? Well, yeah, I'm just saying there's powerful divination magic. I'm not giving you an actual spell. Ah, okay. There's an entire school of... It's an entire school of thought and magic. I'm used to 5e. I don't know what crazy spells existed before that. Hmm. Augury existed, baby. <laughs> so. Otherwise. Who takes final watch? That would be Mickey. The Diviner. Okay then, Mickey. Roll me perception. Okay. Sweetie, sweetie, I'll perceive that booty. Sure do hope that can't be heard through my headphones. Uh -huh. 22. Is this another one of those damn you, Mickey moments? No. I, I'm used to you rolling about, uh, rolling. I'm used to the spots you rolling high 20s now. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Except Kiva. Except Kiva. Okay. Well, except Kiva with anything to do with intimidation. Why? <laughs> You've rolled like three nat ones at it. Come on, man. I know. So. You wouldn't ordinarily notice anything. Uh -huh. Except a copper coin at one point lands in your lap. Uh, it squeeze. And I looking put it on the floor. You can see Silently, the barmaid standing upside down on the ceiling, rummaging through your bags. Could you fucking not? What the actual fuck? We are sleeping. Wakes you. everyone up. Ma'am, could you fucking not? What did you do with him? We didn't do shit. You took the two of us. I ain't took shit, and I will be. Damn, and offended if you accuse me of something like that again. She jumps from the ceiling and f sort of fades into a shadow and re reforming at your feet. Reforming at your feet and into the full. Uh, also, Fletchling? Fetchling? Fetch fetchling? She's not a fetchling that you've ever seen. Certainly, like, you're not used to seeing fetchlings with red hair. Uh huh. I mean, fetchlings dye their hair. That this is true. Is that is true. 
So, so yeah, she could be she could be an albino fetchling who's dyed her hair red. Okay. Fuck, we're all albino. <laughs> um, no, you're all albino, or you're like, like various shades of grey. Okay. Oh, she she throws your your backpack back to you. Goes, Thank you. The master. We need the cutlery. I ain't got no fucking cutlery. I use swords. I don't need a knife, ma'am. You, little frog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like rubbing my eyes, slowly waking up. What did you do? She eats hand food. She cooks them with her lantern. You took the cutlery. Yeah, you don't sure, need and cutlery. then I ate it. Yeah. You know good in the hell well she doesn't know what all the species do. <laughs> <laughs> she can fucking yeah. believe you. Come on, to check for cutlery. Well, it's okay, not this other. Like... It's, it's, it's the sarcastic yes, sure. Like, just because you said yes, I did. That's not technically lying. It's just sarcasm. Like, pretending to be sarcasm. Doesn't mean it's not bluffing. So I can do sarcasm when I'm playing D&D, but not in person. Yes. That's a weird situation to be in. Well, it's obvious you don't have it. You small gnome thing. Eva is just like snoring, like... <laughs> She's still asleep. <laughs> yeah. Woke up and went, oh, okay. And then we're back to sleep. Yeah, good luck with that one. That's just a boob lady. We could hardly get her out of bed, and you expect you expect her to have stolen shit? I... <clears throat> how how she, does she steal shit? She can pose as herself. herself. She can pose as herself. Do you need Brushes a stray hair out of her face. Dude. I must say, you're taking this all very well. Sadly, we are used to people making assumptions. Yes, it's called discrimination. Usually they realize themselves that... Well... We have lost some very important tools last night. Hmm. Well, if you're a bit nicer, we could help you find them for a price. We do the occasional mercenary work. Yes, we were what you call adventurers. Not hoodlums who steal cutlery. Well, we would be adventurers if we got our gear. So we are a bit limited in what we can do right now. Mm -hmm. But if these cutleries are that important, I'm sure arrangements can be made. Of course. Okay. So I don't know what game is being played or who the players are. But I will say this much. Should the full collection of utensils happen to reappear on the bar tomorrow morning, there may or may not be a small bag full of gold in someone's cart. Should some friendly people see that that is done, when they um, come back, the rent would remain the same. Would that be correct? Oh, I'll talk to Herbert. He's, he's a racist little prick. But okay. I'll have words with him. That would be very kind of you. Then we'll see what we can do. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Is Herbert not supposed to see the cutlery? Or does that not matter? No, oh, I don't care about Herbert. Okay. Uh, we see who's the real boss around here. Mm -hmm. You go, girl. 
Yes, I'd rather do than that. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you look flashing. Have you been up all night? I look, excuse me. No, you. I, I know, I know my brazier is rather low cut, but I wouldn't say I look flashing. Dashing? <laughs> she meant dashing, stunning, amazing, bombastic. Take the compliment, girl. Thank you. See, see, this one gets it. Of course, I used to be a barmaid. I ran the same type of shit. I've got you. I guess I'll go for a walk then. I am very sorry that my non-native tongue ruined my compliment. Have a nice day. And Grace will leave the room. To go rescue the cutlery. Yes. She really meant all that. Out of character, we just ran the best racket. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Like, for all the cool shit, she's only a third level sorcerer. The, the sorcerer, there's not much for in divination for a while. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. We well, did it. That's that then. That's that then. They'll have their they'll have their shit in the morning. Stop looking no at me. One so has smug. To know. Hmm? Laura's giving me the smuggest look right now. I can I did something good. <laughs> you did it. I've been rolling pretty badly previous games. I finally did something good. Mm-hmm. It came ass today. So the party is going to be uh, up by 20 gold per share between you when it comes around. Just making a note of that now before I inevitably forget. Oh, um, so we can split with Leon. Yeah. Everyone should be getting five, correct? Yes. Yes. No, it, it's worth noting, like, magical cutlery should be looking in the hundreds per piece, but where would you sell it? We stole that shit, like, come on. Better than nothing. Not only that, we are getting better room arrangements from now on. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that As is this... far better than gold they are going to confiscate anyways. Yeah, that's fair. God. So. This party could make a fucking mafia and no one would bet up I. <laughs> Indeed. Well, yeah, I am alarmed by how you've managed to turn, like, every possible issue into a profitable situation. I try my best, and I just hope they follow my lead, which they did excellently. Good job, y'all. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm very proud. <laughs> you settle back in for the rest of your night, and one of you goes to collect <laughs> cutlery and just like leave it on the counter. And sneak off back upstairs. I would have like rubbed some dirt on it or something so it looked like it had been somewhere. <laughs> it is Zaza's hair. Nah, <laughs> some leaf from like a tree somewhere. Yeah, that was Zaza's hair would be very familiar. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Also, I'm trying to grow that out. I want to braid it. I'm not gonna cut it. Oh. Also, Mickey's gonna finish their um watch tonight. <laughs> Bitch ain't done. Alright. In that case, um... I think... That covers everything, with uh, one exception. Mm-hmm. Grace! Yes? Have you been working with the Sahagan Mafia? There's a Zahagan Mafia. How do you know about it? You just asked me if I worked with them. And do you? No. Sounds like something the Zahagan Mafia would say. How would you know that? Were you part of the Zahagan Mafia? <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> this poor interrogationer. Did he legitimately say who told you? <laughs> Apparently. That's the sort of headspace I'm in at the moment. <laughs> Amazing. Poor guy's just got the right dick in. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you start heading. You, you, know, you get up. You wake up. Herbert, who doesn't look like he's slept in a week, uh, so grumbles but doesn't say anything as you leave. Bye, Herb. Have a nice day! Uh, Hi, Herb. Yeah. <laughs> hate. Love. Love. And Mickey's just throwing up peace signs outside the door. Love. And yes, in one of the corners of your uh, your cart, there is in fact a small bag of 20 gold coins. Ooh. Which, it's beginning to add up a bit now. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I believe you oh. may have now earned enough to level uh, earned enough gold to level up. Oh, whoa! Nice. Shit, that's that was how we were counting. That's how I was counting. You might have done fucked up. I could <laughs> earn some money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Shit! I don't know how to level up in this game. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Level up, GM. I will. Would we like to do it on stream or off stream? Let's no, the let's surprise the people. Right I feel like that is like a little climatic thing that we can symbolize leveling up with. Well, all right. Well, we'll do that in a moment then. You carry on setting off down the road, and yeah, you're you're a, a day's ride, and at high noon you can just about see Sidereal Cross with its total of four houses. And many, many orchards. Nice. We're finally back home. <sighs> we are fucking fived. Shit, we kind of thrived in this setting. You're sitting at the end of a table with Sir Harold. I didn't know we were invited for dinner. Were you aware of the guards who emerged the other night? What the fuck? What? In this town? Who died? The guards over at the Western Gate. The, what? This. How? how this who? What? Gate. Have the. No, have we're still doing the interrogation flashbacks. Oh! Have they caught the murderers? Are we all sitting together now, or is. Yes. Oh. The interrogation flashback. So what Harold. happened to them? Well, one of them seems to have been uh, slightly set on fire. Oh, God. Oh, and he a, a sharp end. glance towards uh, a, a gnome in the presence. Slightly? Was there tortures? No. It seemed there was just fireworks. Hmm. Can you distinguish fireworks? Those halflings, they do love their fireworks. It's mm. called magic. How, how long does a spell essence linger after being cast? Oh, we can't, it depends on how powerful your. Yeah, not long. Four but... rounds, so, like. Well, the spell lasts for four rounds, but depending on how high a level the spell casting was. Like, detect magic and pick up a spell that's been cast days before. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I learned something. Mm. Um, I think it says so in the spell block that was sent. Yes, the presence or absence of magical aura. Yeah. Um, the, the, the guards were not especially virtuous men. But they didn't deserve to die. Nobody deserves to die. 
Indeed, nobody deserves to die. Not at all. Like, do we? Do you have anyone looking for the people that did it? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, good, good. Jesus. I mean, sunlight. <laughs> the other three seem to have drowned where they stood. Yeah, that is concerning. How the fuck do you do that in a town named Sunrise near absolutely no water? I I'm not understanding. Sunrise is on the coast, by the way. I was oh. <laughs> wondering <laughs> whether, like, who suddenly invented the, the printing press then. <laughs> God, uh, I should have looked at the map. How do you, how do, how do you drown inside of the Western Gate? We suspect some sort of poison was involved. Drowning like, through poison? Shit. Perhaps the group is a hagen that, uh, Infiltrated the inn you were staying at and set the bomb. Now that you mentioned some of my scrolls of firework went missing. Hold on, you found the people that made the bomb? Well, it was centered on the fucking Sahagan's tavern, so yes. We know it was them. But you haven't found them. <clears throat> no, like you. They were gone. We're here! Yes, you came back. We... We... We, we just went sightseeing it's... to the reeds. Like, come on! We didn't leave! We just wanted well, to you change the scenery. We leave or come back? I'm not following now. I don't share so much of my mayor's prejudices. But I am very, very keen on justice. Understandable. Yeah. I don't care what you should have done. I just want to know precisely what you did. Okay, how precise do you want it to know it? And how much time do you have? Because I woke up at about sunrise. I like to do that because it's usually quieter then, and I can work easier, so when I'm not at home working, it does stick with that habit. I spent some time reading because I'm usually the first one in this group at to wake up. At half past eight last night, the guards were lured to have a drink of poisoned wine by, I believe, you. And he points at Mickey. Why me? Because you were fucking witnessed. Doing what? She transformed himself into a barmaid. Yeah. This guy's self. Okay, you disguised yourself. Your casting of disguised self was also witnessed. The entire event of that night was witnessed. By who? You're in the middle of a town. There are windows <laughs> everywhere. Oh, that's flawed. I'm a room. They could not have I could have swore I went inside of the inn to change. Well, shit. In that case, In where that is case... your official arrest? Okay, you I will set up don't right. Believe he intends to arrest us. If you want justice, then. You will shut up with that sass right now, young miss. I will take it as a compliment. Thank you. Wow. She's old. For now, there are alarmingly larger fish to fry. Pun intended? <laughs> Funny pun pun. <laughs> um not intended. <sighs> well, you did a good job anyway. God, I'm good at this shit. 
We have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> and very few of those fish are actually fish. Oh. Until we have figured out precisely how I... Until I, I have figured out how to put you best to use. You'll be reporting directly to me and not the mayor. Ooh, Big Daddy it's, H. It is only because I am fairly certain you're all too incompetent to actually understand how to put together an explosive. Well, yeah, I'm not wrong at that. I don't like booms. I mean, that's just PTSD. <laughs> so understand you're on very, very thin ice. But it's, it's not... It's, no. That's usually pretty safe terrain for me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't your feet stick to ice? I'm a tree frog, not a swimmy frog. I have different feet. It's a different family tree. <clears throat> God damn it. So, <laughs> you are going to be on a very tight leash. Who I didn't know you were kinky like that. Oh, are you gonna bring the whip as well? at least extend back to Sidereal Cross. <laughs> Go. Do you have a safe word we should know? Get back to Sidereal Cross. I think we're oh, to with you there. <laughs> That's a long leash. <laughs> have a nice day! Fiddles. Diddlesticks. Don't, don't get all cuddly with me now after that sass. Fine. I thought you were able to differentiate between character and player. But no, 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 no. That was sass against me, and I know it. Well, age. I've always been cuddly with you. Remember cards? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> You're back in Sidereal. You love me, you know you do. You're back in Sidereal. I'm back in Sidereal. Back in Sidereal. <laughs> All of you are back in Sidereal. And shall we go through character level up then? Boy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. first of all, you roll your hit dice. Alright. Hit dice, hit dice, hit dice, hit dice. What the oh. fuck is my hit dice? I think it was like. Actually, a I think that'll be it because this is going to take a lot. Like, I've just realized leveling up grace involves doing lots and lots of calculations. Okay. We, I then, may yeah. have to go through this one at a time with you. You can level up the other two and do a me in between. That's easier. Maybe, yeah. We want to do it off stream. We will we surprise all of you lights. viewers. You'll never know. You, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep shorthand notes for next session. Mm-hmm. For what will be shorthand notes for what what what's been done to level you all up. Yes. But we are rolling HP. We are rolling HP for now. Yes. Oh yeah, I got a fat seven new HP. I could almost tank. No, I can't. <laughs> so, uh, D eight. Actually, is <laughs> ah, yes. I hear the yays and hurrays of many a people. We will it's rise. So is it, is yeah. it just hit dice or uh, hit dice plus con mod? Hit die plus con. Okay. Although the, the con should be automatically added on when you click the when you level up next to the uh, your class list. Oh, okay. Because uh, it's, it's automatically going to go for your... Uh, it's going to do your level times your... Uh, times your con mod. Automatically. Yeah, it's already good. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay. okay. Let me input that level, bye bye. No, you add the 7 to your class HP on the classes and levels list. Ah, okay, I see it. 
Uh, Kara, take three. Take three, okay. Taking three. Nice. Like, roll minimum of half. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I'm up at 34 hit points. <gasps> Second level oh. spells. 28 hit points. Hell yeah. Am I thick yet? You gain a boob size. Congratulations. Yay! Oh no, my back. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and. Wait, wait a second, I remember who said that. <laughs> yeah, having neatly skirted around the two possible conflicts. And having it only been an hour and a, lo- hour and a half long session. Hmm. Me. Oh. We were fast! You were fast. We were fast, we were efficient, we kicked so much ass. Guys, this is not good. That means next session he will throw more at us. Oh no. We can take it! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I said knowing the future was brutal. So, yeah. Does anybody want to do shoutouts? No, don't perceive me. Actually, yes. And it's a shout out that no one will actually need. Um, shout out to uh, the Howl and Hum, who on my birthday, not knowing it was my birthday, this band I really like, like the cover song I did for him. It's like, yay, squee, 5 a.m., baby. Nice. <laughs> Fucking golden hours. Ah! Anyway, besides that, don't perceive me. Okay. I'm done. I only exist in a pocket dimension that is Prita Studios. Don't perceive her. <laughs> no, you can. Only in this pocket dimension, though. Okay, get inside this pocket dimension so you can perceive her. I, I am You wish to chair. perceive, correct? And I am the tech guy of Sprita Studios. I am in charge of streaming shit. And I have technical difficulties today, but I also stream on my own channel, which is just like Chair Fox and One Word, and I exist in the internet in general. So yeah. And I have been Linkus, and I run this, and I take part in the other Sprita games. And I infrequently, and with no real schedule, though that may change at some point, uh, stream to Mr. Teak. M R T I Q U E. Amazing. When are you streaming next on the channel? Uh, probably not for the next little while that I'm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Afterwards, yeah. like, I'm thinking, not this week coming, but the week after, I'm gonna start seeing if I can do, about this time of day, a couple of uh, days a week. Okay, nice. With um... an assortment of games, including Pathologic. Nice, Pathologic. I heard a lot of good about that game. Okay, so we are going to be raiding Roll Society. Please say hi to them and see you next time. Hello. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.